Russian and Belarusian athletes have been banned from the Beijing Paralympic Games following a specially convened meeting of the International Paralympic Committee. Andrew Parsons, IPC president, said in a press release, At the IPC, we are very firm believers that sport and politics should not mix. However, by no fault of its own, the war has now come to these games, and behind the scenes, many governments are having an influence on our cherished event. Parsons says the decision to ban Russian and Belarusian athletes a day before the games begin was influenced by other teams, athletes and governments who threatened to boycott the games if Russia and Belarus competitors were allowed to participate. Parson adding he is sorry for the athletes who have been affected by their government's decision to breach the Olympic truce. I think the most important thing that comes out of this is that athletes and national governing bodies influenced the decision. Because athletes for too long have lived under the lie that they don't have any power. Robert Elchuk is a medal-winning Olympic and Paralympic coach. Elchuk was at Beijing 2008, London 2012, and Rio 2016, and says athletes are realizing they have a lot of power when they collectively organize and unite behind a message. The way that athletes have been um, held back from expressing themselves over the over the over a century now in the Olympics and now since 1948 with the Paralympics, it, it's, it's something that is long overdue. Athletes' voices are important. Global Athlete, an international athlete-led advocacy organization, released this video featuring Ukrainian athletes calling on the IOC and IPC to exclude Russian and Belarusian athletes from the Paralympic Games. The full-scale military invasion on Ukrainian borders had started. Belarus provided its border fully supporting Russian invasion. The war is still ongoing in Ukraine. In a statement released 24 hours before the Paralympic Games begin, the Canadian Paralympic Committee was pleased with the decision and writes, we join many organizations around the globe in continuing to condemn the atrocities being undertaken by Russia and Belarus in Ukraine and stand alongside the Ukrainian team at these games. According to the IPC, 71 Russians and 12 Belarusians will be sent home. As for Elchuk, he says this isn't the first time Russia has disrespected the core values of the Olympic and Paralympic Games. And so they finally came to the right decision in um, rejecting the application for the athletes from Russia and Belarusia. In Winnipeg, Mark Neufeld, City News.